Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Bert the Stormtrooper and this is the home of That's Just Prime, the comprehensive Optimus Prime review series. I also review other Transformers, lots of G1 stuff, as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, GoBots, and pretty much any other toy that may jump out of me. I also do the occasional arcade and pinball machine videos, unboxings, blogs, challenges, and miscellaneous videos where my daughter usually makes fun of me. Those are a lot of fun. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share if you like what you see. Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Siege War for Cybertron Megatron and I love this toy. Released in November of 2018, he is still available in stores right now as of the time of this recording. He is a Voyager size figure and retails for approximately $30. And I absolutely love this iteration of Megatron because this has given us, I think they finally found the way to give us the perfect Megatron that cannot transform into a gun. Um, we all know the controversy. They can't make a, they, or they won't make Megatron a gun again. So they turned him into a tank and, and it usually, it seems like the intentions were well, were good, but, <laughs> but the execution wasn't the best. Uh, I think they finally did it. They gave us a really cool, very believable tank that transforms into the most G1 Megatron I think I've ever seen, which is absolutely fantastic. So here is uh, Megatron in tank mode. He measures approximately nine inches long from the back of the uh, from the tip or the back of the tank all the way to the front of the barrel. He is about two and a half inches tall. He does have a turret and he does rotate all the way around, which is really, really cool. He cannot go up and down unless you kind of bend him a little bit. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, but yeah, uh, he can go all the way around, which is really, really cool. And he rolls really nicely. So he's got these four wheels down here in the bottom of the uh, treads. And yeah, you can see his head right there, just kind of hiding in there. You can see most of the robot right there, actually. But yeah, he rolls really, really nicely. Not a whole lot more to say the, uh, other than it's a really cool looking tank. I really dig this tank. I think it looks fantastic. Quick comparison. Here he is with uh, Siege War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. So you can see what these guys look like together. And again, I think this sizes very well. I think that is a proper size difference between a tank and a truck. So I think that looks really, or at least a very good approximation. You know, it may not be exact, but that is a very good approximation of what those two should look like together. So we'll set them off to the side. And uh, not a whole lot more to say here other than it's a really cool tank. The colors are good. It's very believable. It's, you know, yes, it's not a, it's not an earth truck or an earth tank. It's a Cybertronian tank. Uh, but it is a believable tank. So, yeah, it's it's cool. I love this tank a lot. So, getting into transformation, the first thing we're going to do is take the barrel here and pull it straight forward. That is pegged in there to there. Simple as that. We're going to take this, turn it all the way around, open up these blades, and then these guys are going to tab in. These two tabs are going to tab into the side of the gun right there. Or the barrel or the cannon. And then we tab these together, and now we have ourselves a sword that we can set aside to check out later. Turn, bring this guy up. He is going to get a little tall. And getting started with the transformation. So we're going to come down here to the legs, and we're going to just kind of unpeg these. You can see that there's a tab there that pops into the side of the uh, leg right here. And this is really cool. It's, it's complex, but it's not complicated. So we're going to take this whole bottom piece here. This is going to open up. And there's a hinge here, and the entire leg needs to rotate on this hinge, like so. Like that. So, just so you can see what just happened, let me open this one. So you can see what just happened. So it just rotated on this hinge, and on this hinge, all the way down until it's in this L shape right here. Now, you can go ahead and just straighten that out and bring it down. Close this panel up. Same thing on this side. So we'll just rotate this guy all the way around, just like so, bring him down, and close that panel. We can take him and rotate him at the waist. Finally, straighten out his feet and pull out his heel pieces, and these are going to snap into place. And you want to be careful, these, these do have a tendency to pop off. So there you go, those popped into place. There you go, legs all done. We got to move the camera up again. Which is nice, actually. Good tall figure. Good size figure. I really like this figure a lot. So we're going to pop these open. And you can see that these tabbed into the side of the front of the tank right there. And that is going to allow us to bring this whole thing up and over like this. 
So this whole thing's gonna just hinge out. There's a couple of hinges. There's a hinge there and a hinge here. So this whole thing is gonna hinge out. Take this panel, open it up, bring it out like so. Before we do anything else, we're gonna come to the back here and we're gonna unpeg the arms from each other and bring these out to the side. That is going to allow us to bring this whole backpack down. Now these are going to tab here and here. And while we're bringing this down, we also wanna bring these pieces in and these are gonna tab in right in there. So it's kind of like a, a dual motion that we're doing here. Bring these down and then tab the backpack in the place right there. Come back around to the front, take the, uh, oh, we're going to, these are still out, so we're gonna tab the shoulders into place, take these pieces up here. These are gonna rotate back to make those little trigger pieces there, or the hammer pieces there. And then we're gonna reach in here and bring his fists out. Finally, we're gonna take his arm cannon and rotate it around. And there is Megatron in robot mode, and he looks amazing. Here in robot mode, Megatron is approximately seven inches tall. Very, very good size, especially for a Voyager. Once again, when compared to Optimus, we'll go ahead and bring in the classic animation, Voyager Optimus Prime. And you can see that he is just a wee bit taller than this guy, but overall just bulkier. Uh, the, when you look at these two guys together, just based on appearances, this guy looks like he's going to beat this guy up. And I love that about it, even though we know it's always going to be the other way around. But yeah, this guy just looks big and bulky and massive. Even for a Voyager figure, he's got a really, really good size for a Voyager figure. I like that a lot. Getting into articulation, his head is on a ball joint, up and down, turn to the side. Arms can go all the way around, in and out. You got a rotation at the elbow. We also got a bend at the elbow. Unfortunately, no rotation at the wrist because of the hinge for the transformation. We do have a rotation at the waist. Legs can go forward, backwards, in and out. Rotation at the thigh, bend at the knee. And uh, yeah, not a whole lot here happening here at the ankles, unfortunately. But yeah, very cool. Let's bring this guy in and check out that face. That is a perfect Megatron face. Absolutely love this figure all the way around. Again, it's it's it just seems to me like they finally cracked the code on giving us the perfect Megatron. He's a great, believable tank mode. Yeah, we have to compromise. We can no longer do the gun. Tank is the next best, next best thing. And that tank mode, I think, is just absolutely gorgeous. And it transforms into... G1 Megatron. I mean, this is this is just absolutely breathtaking. Absolutely beautiful figure. A little bit of a backpack, but it's really not that bad. And it re really just kind of fits in with the whole big military, big tough guy motif that we've got going on here. Yes, absolutely love this. We can take um, we can take the cannon here and give him a little effect right there. That looks really really cool. I think love that. And then, of course, we've also got this sword that we had earlier. So typically, uh, what I like to do is I like to take the side peg here and uh, just peg it into the back and just kind of give him that big sword on his back, which I think looks fantastic. If you're not familiar, the original figure of G1 Megatron, which I have reviewed, I'll, uh, I'll put a link down below, did come with a ginormous sword. So we can also go ahead and give him that. And there you go. Now you've got Megatron with a sword there. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's humongous. So there you go. That, <laughs> how cool is that? That looks fantastic. So that works in both both modes. But personally, yeah, I think the sword is cool. But me personally, for my display purposes, I just like to put it on his back and just kind of cross it like that. I think that just looks really cool. And they just kind of have Megatron here with his cannon firing. Yeah, there we go. Love that a lot. Let's see if we can fix that. We, I usually don't have issues with him being back heavy. Uh, this is, of, well, of course, it figures we are on camera, so it's going to give me trouble, right? So there we go. Yeah, that looks amazing. Absolutely love this figure. Like I said, I think they finally cracked the code. They gave us a perfect Megatron. There is a repaint of this guy that's available in the classic animation colors, much like this guy is. And I'm really tempted to get it because I think they just both look amazing. And I think that about does it for Transformers Siege, War for Cybertron, Megatron. What did you think of this figure? Let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see. And I'll talk to you next time.